I'm a cartoonist, but I'm also a writer and I'm also a satirist. And uh, I think our art should be in our lives, not just on the page. And, uh, you know, and I, and I think it's all of as, you know, people right now in, you know, the 21st century, we live in the media. Uh, I've always drawn, uh, it, it runs in my family. So uh, since I was, before I was little. I used to draw cartoons. It was called LA Cucaracha, and I would draw it in the LA Weekly. And that was right after the LA riots. It's about two guys. Uh, one is a, uh, an anthropomorphic cucaracha. He's kind of like a street poet, cholo type of guy. And then the other guy is, uh, and that's Cuco Rocha is his name. And then Eddie is uh, his buddy and roommate. And he's just a regular Chicano who doesn't really care about anything. So it's about these uh, kind of conflicting points of view in life, you know, like someone that pays too much attention and someone that pays very little attention. In 2003, I started La Cucaracha as a daily, and it's been running since then. I like to portray what's going on when people talk about issues um, because I feel like we don't talk about, especially in the Latino community, you know, uh, we don't buckle down and talk about news issues a lot. So it's kind of like my version uh, of the news, but filtered through, you know, my characters. Welcome to a town at a cultural crossroads. This is Mexifornia. This is a great story of Latinos supporting other Latinos, Chicanos supporting Chicanos, because I was the second person to get a call. The first one was Gustavo Arellano, who is uh, the, the columnist of the Ask a Mexican column. And he got a call saying, a, a guy from Family Guy wants to meet with you. And he said, well, if you're gonna hire me as a consultant, you should actually call Lalo, Lalo Alcaraz, he does cartoons and has been writing this kind of stuff for years. You should call him and offer him a job too. And so they offered me a job too. We both originally as uh, consultants and uh, I'm a consulting producer and, and then I, I became full-time writer. We've got a Native American, an Asian couple, and I even managed to find a white guy. <laughs> it's about this border patrolman that is the worst border patrolman on the planet and he happens to live in this uh, border town called Mexifornia. His next door neighbor is a Mexican immigrant who's been here 20, 30 years and is doing great. And uh, so it's about Bud and Ernesto. So they're both the protagonists. I don't know if anyone's a hero on this show because, you know, everyone is messed up in this show. If you were born here, who won the WNBA championship last year? The Phoenix Mercury? No American would know that. You're coming with me. After 25 years of doing comics, is you can show more truth in comics than you can with live action with people, you know. And so that's why I get away with so much. This show has so much to say, and I hope that everyone watches it.